Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the implementation of a continuous authority to operate with Prisma Cloud Compute. Authority to operate is based upon the NIST risk management framework, which guides organizations in risk management. The risk management framework provides a process that integrates security and risk management activities into the system development lifecycle. As you can see here in the diagram, there are a sequence of steps involved. Continuous is the application of all these steps throughout the lifecycle of your applications and services. Prisma Cloud Compute gives you the ability to constantly monitor and control the risk posture of your environment and to quickly identify and thwart emerging threats. Prisma Cloud Compute secures containers, serverless functions, as well as your hosts across the application lifecycle and integrates within the microservices build, deploy, and run phases. Here I'm looking at the various containers running within my environment. I have created an ATO called ATO Frontend. It categorizes all images and containers that will be accessed by external entities through this ingress controller. This is the initial RMF step of categorization. This way, I can apply common controls to these images and containers since they have the common risk of external internet-based attacks. Notice the various containers that are within the ATO boundary span across namespaces and can span across clusters, cloud service environments, and on-premises environments. With Prisma Cloud Compute, I can categorize the services within my ATO via the collections feature. For this example, I use the images labels to define my collection boundary. Note the various attributes that can be used to define a collection. The tag feature allows me to group the vulnerabilities that are associated with the images within my ATO front end collection. In this example, I chose to group my vulnerabilities into two groups. POAM, I have a plan of action and milestones to remove these vulnerabilities within a specified period of time and mitigating controls. Are the vulnerabilities that their risks have been reduced through other defense and depth measures such as, a fire, such as firewalls? Now I can implement policy for the build, deploy, and run phases of my services. In this example, I can stop vulnerabilities from being introduced during the build phase. Here, this policy is applied to any image that is gonna be labeled with my collection name of ATO frontend. It will provide exceptions for my POAM and mitigating control vulnerabilities. And then if any vulnerability is not within those tagged groups, I the build will fail. So as the developer performs their functions in their build tools, for example, Jenkins, as part of the Jenkins pipeline build, if the image contains vulnerabilities that are not identified as part of the ATO, the build will fail, fail within the environment that the developer is working in in, in, in real time, uh, prevent those vulnerabilities from continuing on in their life cycle. With Prisma Cloud Compute, I can control the creation of containers through the deploy policy. Through the deploy policy, um, for example, let's say over time, an image becomes vulnerable just due to the nature of software, things are gonna become vulnerable over time. The way this works is Prisma Cloud Compute stays up to date with the latest vulnerability and threat information through the intelligence stream. This is one of the biggest challenges of any ATO. How do you account for drift in your environment? Software is gonna become vulnerable over time. How do you control it? With Prisma Cloud Compute, you control, can control the, the instantiation of images as containers if they are within or not within your authority to operate. Here I've applied, so here I can see my vulnerabilities within my images and I've applied the ATO front end. And I can see here in the struts container, I have a low vulnerability that has not been associated to a tag group. So if I try to start that image as a container, Prisma Cloud Compute will actually block 
that image from starting as a container, thus protecting my runtime of as things become vulnerable over time, catching those vulnerabilities not being introduced into your runtime. Then I can now come in and play the role of the security officer or, or an approval authority and say, okay, that vulnerability, I deem it acceptable or no, I don't deem it acceptable and you have to fix it, but I can uh, update my policy as time continues on for the life cycle of, these, uh, of this ATL. So now if I go in and run, try to run the image again, I can see the image runs as a container. So now if I go back to my radar view, I see in my radar view, my stretch container is now appearing within my ATO filter within my radar view, giving quick visibility as to what is occurring within my environment and know where I need to take action. So you can integrate the artifacts of Prisma Cloud Compute's application of your ATO controls. So there's, there's mechanisms where it fails the builds, those mechanisms where new vulnerabilities come out. You can integrate those into your reporting systems through syslog integration, mail integrate, uh, alert integration such as email, pager duty, et cetera. And also you can do it programmatically through the API. Prisma Cloud Compute provides your organization the ability to truly implement a continuous authority to operate. 